We are sailing, we are sailing from Cape Town to the sea. Yes, welcome, safe sailing with myself, Anselin April. We are going again onto the ocean and enjoy ourselves on the cruise ships. How can we start? Globally, the cruise industry was hit badly by the pandemic COVID-19 and across the world if you look at all the news that came out all the countries that's renowned for having cruise ship seasons I suppose all cruise lovers were waiting for that day it's going to open up now I can speak a little from experience because my son also started working on cruise ships just prior to the pandemic started and lucky for him he came home just before lockdown started in our country so uh, that, that that's what triggered my interest in following what's going on in the cruising industry so uh, for us now today it is the 20th of January the time is 10 to 12 and I can say that cruise life started in Cape Town whereas it started during last year in June already in the US and around Europe be that as it may, our activity started on the 13th of January with the MSC Orchestra finding its way to Cape Town. This time around, it started off with what we have become renowned for the Love Jazz Cruise. And uh, that cruise was normally from Cape Town to Namibia. This time around though, it has been, it found its way to Port Elizabeth, or better known these, better known these days as, and please excuse the spelling or the pronunciation, Kaberga, <laughs> P-E, Port Elizabeth as we know it, P-E, has got a new name, Kaberga, Kaberga, oh my word, um, you must go look it up and see how you can maybe get the pronunciation right so yes coming back to um, 13th of January again um, uh, late embarking due to the ship entering the port the bay late due to strong winds which is renowned for Cape Town sometime during the cruising season and it happened in the past also in fact I can I can uh, during this video I will um, give you my experience with regards to uh, strong winds on, on an itinerary that me and my wife was part of. So anyway, so uh, the, the ship came in later than normal. Um, passengers embarked later than normal. So uh, be that as it may, cruise, uh, cruise ship started, you know, and uh, that's all. That's what the excitement is all about. I mentioned the, the, the concern of Cape Town Harbour entrance. Whenever a strong wind is blowing, gusting around in Cape Town, crew, the, the, the authorities at Cape Town Harbour and in conjunction with the cruise ships, they won't just let a cruise ship in or out of the harbour if there are strong winds or gusts beyond, I believe, that I'm under correction, but I believe beyond 25 kilometers per hour. Um, 
I, be, I think beyond stronger than that, the captain and or the authorities, they are not keen on allowing a ship to enter or exit the port. Now, uh, it has been in the past where cruise ships or rather normal vessels for that matter wasn't allowed to enter the, the bay because of that exact reason. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> I, I was an itinerary on, 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 on some MSC ship about two, three years ago. And uh, we were supposed to embark on the Thursday because we were on a it's the four day five four night cruise five day cruise from Cape Town to Durban and uh, we couldn't the, the ship because the ship couldn't enter so we couldn't embark so uh, um, our our departure was delayed by two days I mean we only the ship only got in due to the strong winds that kept it out we could only embark the ship when it came in on the Saturday. And I can imagine uh, two nights wasted, you know. But be that as it may, uh, it, was still a, it was still a very nice experience for us. So yes, Cape Harbour uh, entrance always when, when, when it's season and uh, high, uh, high winds are present. Um, they won't they won't allow the ships in so uh, uh, whenever you want to whenever you're contemplating on, 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 on booking your cruises take, bear that in mind that um, you might be you might be uh, negotiating that fact of strong winds and so on in South Africa Season, cruising season normally is between November of the one year and May of the following year. So cruise ships will either home port in Cape Town for a while and also at, in Durban, which are the main ports for the cruise lines. So uh, from Cape Town we'll have different um, cruises like um, we had the one to Durban um, which include Kiberga and it's either Cape Town Durban or Durban Cape Town and then we also had the Cape Town Wal Walfus Bay in Namibia to and back um, that is normally also a four night five day cruise on the Durban, the Durban PE Durban, Cape Town Durban PE that's normally a five-day cruise, as well as the, the, the Namibia one, but sometimes, I think in the past, we had three-day cruises to Walfus to, 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 to Bay, I'm under correction. But then also sometimes, uh, MSC basically is the current company that, that uh, has this African season. So they also had, at times, a cruise to nowhere, that, which is normally a three-day cruise or two nights on the ship so that is different itineraries as as, as we've come to know so uh, um, with these various reasons i will in in the future in the future video i will um, find out more and maybe give you some more info with regards to what's available which cruises will be available in certain seasons and so on and uh, keep you posted so this year our season started on the 13th of January um, 2022 and it was the Love Jazz Cruise um, uh, and I can I haven't been on one in fact I only have been on one cruise so far in my in my life but um, I have followed many of it and I have family and friends who did the Love Jazz Cruise either to Namibia this one to Port Elizabeth and then there was also some years ago there was one a short one to Mossel Bay um, but I don't think that was, was no, I don't think there's a port in Mossel Bay so it was just lying around in, at sea and back so there's various options that MSC come across and so on 
So this time around, obviously, cruising has changed with the COVID-19. So all over the globe, um, COVID protocols had to be in place. It had to be followed this time around, and on, 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 on very good, on very good um, info that I've received from a very good friend of mine who did this love cruise. Um, him and his family, they had to do a PCR test two days before, before embarking, and on the day they had to do the antigen test. And uh, obviously now you can remember, you can imagine. Um, how they probably were on their nerves um, passing the, the, the PCR tests and then still wondering, oh my gosh, am I gonna make it on the antigen, anti antigen test? Oh, tongue twister. So uh, yes, uh, so that was that was it. And uh, obviously, as he has said, as he has um, notified me, the, he was very happy, he was very... Um, yeah, I was very happy. They, they were very happy for, for, for the measures that were in place on the ship, on the ship, with regards to um, social distancing and the criteria of the various areas on the ship, and then obviously the masking itself. So, um, but be that as it may, we also mentioned this in my as I heard it before. Um, you gotta grow here on your team. I really love jazz school because it's a music party, music party, four nights, four, four days, four nights. So, uh, um, what he also um, mentioned was if you as an adult wanna and you really enjoy the, the, the theme of love jazz and so at home at home <laughs> leave your children at home so that you can you and your wife or your partner or whatever can just have a blast of a time so yes they did enjoy and i gonna post some and i'm posting some uh, uh, footage media um, with his consent uh, of the experience on this love jazz cruise My information with regards to the 2022 closing season is limited from the internet. So, uh, but um, as researched, I believe there will be, or rather the, the itinerary was initially for about 32 cruises to come into Cape Town and uh, I will go into that further and uh, make bring out a video with regards to ships that we can expect and also maybe if there's any information with regards to um, bookings as such etc. I will also convey that to you if, if, if possible if available. But just to give you an, an idea, um, some of the ships that is gonna make their way to, to Cape Town port. Um, we're looking at the Europa 2, the Norwegian Jade. It's an NCL Norwegian cruise line ship. Very, very nice ship, it seems. Azamara Pursuit, um, obviously the orchestra. And then amongst other, uh, the Queen Mary, uh, the Crystal Endeavor and so on. So uh, I will bring out a video with those information, that information, and also maybe some pictures with regards to what the cruises look like and if any things can be made and so on. So uh, um, this is this is going to end my this first video I'm doing on on, on cruising safe sail that is. Um, I will go on. I will go under the name of uh, safe sail with Anselin. So uh, look out for for for. Um, any new videos coming out so uh, worth that saying worth that is it is important for you to um, subscribe to my channel like my videos share my videos and also uh, click the notification bell if you have subscribed to be notified whenever new videos come out so uh, 
I hope that I will, I can grow this further uh, with um, self-sale news. <laughs>